Hi YouTube. So I'm coming today with two parts to this video. The first one is going to be me styling my hair in a kind of chunky twist out look. And the second part I'll be talking about the update for when I went and got my uh, scalp tested to see what type of alopecia I have. So I'll get started with taking down my hair. Uh, right now I have my hair in some twists. Uh, they are about a week old, not even a week. I did these on Tuesday when I washed my hair. I did a co-wash. Well, I washed it with some shampoo, real light shampoo, and I conditioned it. I didn't do a deep conditioner, just put some conditioner on it and just twisted it back up and just let it dry. So I'll turn around so you can see it. Nothing really fancy, so have my oil here. It's just some vitamin E oil that I bought from the dollar store. And I've mixed like some olive oil in here and uh, some other oils that I had laying around the house. So I put this on my hair just to kind of coat it. And I'm gonna take a little bit more because my hair is kind of dry. I really want to get it on my fingertips and I'll start taking down these twists. Sorry if I'm extra close to the camera. Uh, so this shouldn't take me long to take these out. My hair, I think I have about maybe 10 twisting. And this is my version of a chunky twist out because my hair is so thin. So I don't have a lot of hair to manipulate. But take these out and then I'm just gonna separate them each individual twist probably one more time and that will be those, just the quick styling that I will do. So hopefully this part won't take long and then I'll come back with the update of what's going on with my hair. So, uh, as you all know, the last video I got, I went and got my scalp tested uh, on the 26th of April, and I got the stitches taken out on the 10th of May, but I didn't find out the results of my test because they hadn't had the results back, so I had to wait uh, a couple of days until after my results were back before I actually uh, found out what type of alopecia I have. And it's a, uh, it's kind of a bittersweet, I don't know, moment. It's the best way I can say it. I, I took some, some time off just to kind of deal with just how I wanted to approach the alopecia, just what I wanted to do, what was my next step. Uh, so while I'm taking this down, I just kind of go through what type of alopecia I have. I have female pattern baldness type alopecia. Uh, it's very common. There's a lot of women that actually experience female pattern baldness. So what I did was after I found out, I went online to just, just to kind of research about it a little bit more to see what it was exactly what could possibly be causing it, uh, what were some things that I could do to try to reduce it or to maybe to help grow my hair back and just figure out if the steroid shots would be something that I need to continue to do. Uh, I, I did find out that the steroid shots won't necessarily really help the alopecia, the type of alopecia that I have. Uh, the steroid shot helps more if you have like attraction alopecia or alopecia due to like wearing braids too tight, of course weaves too tight, that's a attraction alopecia or any other unknown type of hair loss that was kind of gradual. But as far as female pattern baldness hair loss, it won't help that. Uh, the female pattern baldness uh, hair loss 
is caused by a DHT, which is the abbreviation of the word. And I actually have some information sitting here on my counter that I'll read once I take this out. And I'll get more into that. Okay, this isn't coming out very well, but I'll work with it. Okay, so I have these all out. So let me do this in some style and then I'll come back with my style and the part two of this video. Alrighty.